And more importantly, the message about the American brand. You think about America, the reason this is the number one economy on earth is that we have laws and we have due process and we have property rights. It attracts foreign capital from all around the world. All of that is being shaken to the core here. The concept of seizing assets in 30 days on a bond number that's never been issued. No insurance bond company's ever issued anything near this. So there was no chance it was going to happen. And only giving 30 days notice and time, that's a really bad message. And I think New Yorkers should think well past Trump, whether he's president or not, or whether this attorney general is gone in four years or not. It's irrelevant. This is case setting against the American brand, the most stable country on earth anywhere to put capital work over a long period of time, particularly in real estate, is the United States of America. This is an, this is an assault on what we believe to be core. And I, I find it extraordinary. I think it's very troubling. It has absolutely nothing to do with Donald Trump at this point, in my view. And it is completely bipartisan. This is an attack on America. Hmm. And, and I don't know how you can look at it any other way. And as, a, as an investor, and I know plenty of investors who are completely disturbed by this. But I mean, no one is going to put any money to work in New York in, in these amounts until this thing settles down. The whole world is watching and everybody's waiting for one thing we haven't got yet. Adult supervision. Hmm. Where is it? Where are the adults in this crazy narrative? Certainly, there's got to be adult supervision at some point. And I understand, you know, the, the war going on here and all the political yada, yada, woof, woof, woof. But we need an adult in the room now. This is the United States of America under siege. In a thought provoking stance, Kevin O'Leary posits that his legal pursuit against Donald Trump strikes at the heart of fundamental American ideals, law, due process, and property rights. His proactive legal maneuvers towards Trump are interpreted as symptomatic of broader societal apprehension regarding the erosion of stability, order, and trust within our social fabric. O'Leary's vocal stance underscores the paramount importance of upholding the rule of law, safeguarding property rights, and fostering economic stability particularly within the real estate domain, aligning closely with conservative principles. Moreover, O'Leary's critique of legal proceedings hints at underlying concerns regarding the integrity of the American brand, the efficacy of legal mechanisms, and the dependability of political leadership. Such critique, if left unchecked, could tarnish the United States' reputation as a secure hub for international investment and pose long-term risks to its economic trajectory. O'Leary emphasizes the necessity for adult supervision in navigating the current narrative, suggesting a pervasive anxiety marked by a lack of coherence, continuity, and answerability in public discourse and decision-making processes. In essence, O'Leary's remarks echo a broader sentiment recognizing the existential threat posed to America's core tenets and economic equilibrium by legal actions aimed at prominent figures like Donald Trump.